step every day. Good day everyone, welcome to Liu Weiliet Academy. I am Weiliet and today we will be attacking the ring while spectating other challenges. Hmm? So... Did the game end? Yeah, seems like the game has ended but well, now it's my turn to attack him. So once uh, he's ready, we will start. Okay, so I've uh, chosen to move my favorite pony, and he has moved his uh, horn to restrict my horse. And now he has moved, uh, moved the same and as me, so I think he's just trying to go for draw. Okay. Hi, thank you for subscribing. So let's move on. Okay, since he doesn't want this, I shall restrict him. Who's watching us? Benny! Hello, Benny! So from here, probably I can move C2 plus 4, and then I should be able to get a nice advantage. Okay, who else? Ah, my friend is also watching. So right now, I will just take him, press his horse, and then later I can move for R1.2. Who's the third person? My friend is also watching this. Uh, let me chase him first. And then I will press in. Okay, so indeed he has moved this, uh, so I have no choice for him to do this. Maybe he will move a C4 plus 1 and then he will try to chase me away. Um. In this case, I have no choice but to take him here. And then I can uh, lock him here. So currently, I am still having a bit of initiative. But I really don't know whether why be able to convert this into V because black is also a strong opponent. Okay, so he has chosen to do this. Uh, probably I will. If I defend first, if I defend first. There shouldn't be a problem. But then if I were to be greedy and move a P7 plus 1, if I were to move a P7 plus 1, he can retreat his cannon. Then after that, my group will be stuck there. So probably I will just defect first. So right now, I am exploiting Black's position whereby his horse is unable to move out nicely because if he were to move H8 plus 7, that's when I'll move R8 plus 7. So he has chosen to move in there. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I will control his elephant eye. Yeah, let me control his elephant eye. And he came out again. So, if I were to move e7 plus 5, I expect to move his horse out. If I remove e7 plus 5, he will move out his h8 plus 7. It's not really a good, good thing that I want. I want to continue to shoot him there. So let's see how I can exploit this. Um, if I push in here, then after that, he will retreat his cannon, then I'll move away. Push in here, 
move in, move in, move in. So if you're pushing here, you move up here, which will attack me. No, I shall defend first. So uh if the worst case uh it will be Hey hello you are united. So uh today I'm playing a 10 minutes game, it's not the usual five minutes. So from here I am down by one minute already, so it's not really good thing for me, but I think it's still nice for me. Right now for him he has to choose to move uh C4 minus one. No can I C4 minus one is a bad move. Okay, so he has chosen to move uh, this up, then I shall If I move here Okay, my book will not die inside there So uh, I'm, I was hesitating because I was afraid of his C9-1 and then he will attack my rook. Okay, so now let's see how I can continue on. If I were to move my cannon away. I can push a P7 plus 1. So I want to see how he will respond to me. Okay, so definitely I will have to move this here. Then right now uh, he will generate a strong attack on my right. I will also generate a strong attack on his right part. He's sacrificing his horse. Okay, I will take it. I don't think there's anything anything wrong for me. Later on, when I move R8 or 6, I can move C plus 3 to attack him. So yeah. Okay, so right now let me uh, move this here. So that naturally he has to move C3.2 to block me. If not, I will move a C plus 3 and that's it for him. If I were to move C6 plus 2, 4, 6. C6 plus 6 to attack him. Yeah, I can get a free elephant. He will have to move R6 plus 1. So right now, I think, yeah, it's a good position for me right now, even though I'm down by 1 and uh, one minute. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so he has chosen to move this. Um, okay. Oops. I've calculated wrongly. Um, yeah, this is a bad move. Okay, no, no, I still can retreat. Okay, I still can retreat. Yeah, I nearly died. Uh, I, I thought that, yeah. <laughs> I thought that I would have lost a sink. So he has chosen to do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, come, let's be uh, cowardly and come back to defense first. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that C6 plus 6 was very uncalled for. Okay, so right now, who is watching me? Okay. He's moving his pawn across. Mm. Okay, let me do a feint. To see whether will he fall for it or not. So yeah. So right now I just need to win him within four minutes, and this is very scary because right now he has about two minutes more than me. Okay. 
deliver a check to him, he will eat me, lock him. Control, jump out to control the center for. No, but then he will move C. Can simplify, I shall simplify, I'm left with only 4 minutes. Okay, so right now probably he will move um, this uh, C7.6. Okay. Maybe he will sink his cannon down to attack my king, then I will just move C6.7 to block him. Since he doesn't want that, I shall block him here first. Mm. Okay. My king will come out. Yeah, I'm not afraid. So right now, oh, he dares to come in. Okay. So if I were to move in here. Oh no, I think I've lost. Yeah. So if I will lock him here, would I die? Lock him here, he checked me and moved down, he checked me. No, I don't I don't I don't think I will die, but it's a bad position for me. Okay, so I'll continue blocking him. And then I'm down by a full 3 minutes. Okay, so right now uh, I think I'm safe. Okay. Let me check in here first. Attack his elephant. So right now I'm left with two minutes. Okay, just now I clicked all the bad play, I lost a seat I earned. Okay, so I'm going to slowly play on. Hopefully, yeah. Ah. Okay, I think I've seen my hope. If I chop his elephant, he will check me out. Okay, okay. Okay, so he has only. Yeah, he's uh, trying to save his advisor by doing that. But uh, I don't think I will allow that to happen. Come on. It's either you take my horse or you move uh, or you move your cannon away. Yeah. Okay, come, let's uh, start to restrict everything.
Okay, good. So, uh, I shall move this down. Uh, I'm not going to let it come out. I'm just going to restrict you. Okay. So hopefully he will check me here. But if he doesn't do that, then I will have to slowly click on. Okay, so he's uh, going to retreat his uh, cannon. So I'm going to retreat my king as well. Okay, so he's uh, restricting this part of. Mm, it's alright, I will chase him here. If I'll take him here, nothing should happen to me, right? Take him here, okay, then. Uh, yeah, my time is running off, I shouldn't think so much. Hmm. So now I'm left with our uh, one minute. I think I've lost. Yeah, I've lost. So let's continue on. So Let's check him out. Okay. So just now the game, how did, how did it happen? So let's look at my loss. Okay, so Let's let's look at it one part by one part first. So at this point in time, yeah, I have the advantage of what I said just now. Okay, so just move this, move this, move here, here. This is bad. This is not a good move. So probably the better move will be to move P seven plus one. Okay, so that is something that's very fierce. Okay, now let's move this. Uh, should have retreated here, okay. They move up here. Then I should have chased him here, okay. I move this, this is wrong, and this is wrong. So P7 plus 1 is wrong. Uh, what should, could I have done? I should have chased his. Yeah, I should have chased his uh, cannon and then after that, take his elephant. So after that, this is correct, this is bad, this is correct, and then he move here, take him, eat him. Chase him is correct. 
this is a bad move. So at this point in time, I should have uh, just uh, eaten the side pawn. Okay. Yeah, after that, you move this down. This is wrong. So I should have just eaten the side pawn. Okay. Defend was the correct choice. Moving this. Okay. Yeah, the, the this was correct. Eating was correct. Everything was correct. So from here, as soon as you see a star, it means that the software recommends that it's the best move. Yeah. So this is wrong. What should I have done? I should have eaten him. I should have eaten him. And after that, I'll move down. It's bad. This is wrong. I should have blocked him. Check, move up. So up to this point, I'm still in a winning position. But this is wrong. I should have uh, just retreated my. Oh, should I have retreated my rook to defend here? Okay. So I should have moved up here to hit this side. Okay. This is wrong. Oh, instead of eating the elephant, I should have moved uh, R7.9. And then after that, if let's say if he were to move R2 plus 2, that's when I can move down my elephant to block. Yeah, so that was a bad move. Okay, so everything, everybody moved uh, very nicely. Oh, so this one I should have moved up. I should have eaten the side pawn. Okay. Okay, so this is correct. Should have jumped out the horse. Okay, chasing was uh everything was correct. So this was bad. Move here, move here. This is bad. Should have moved out the thing. Maybe. So eating the side horn was a uh, rock. That was the killer move. I suicided because of this. Okay, so let's go back to look at him against another person okay, so let's look at it from this perspective Okay, so red has chosen to move uh, the standard central can opening with the seven pawn. Okay, and then our uh, plan has chosen to move side. Pause and then he can move over instead of the usual R2 plus 4. Then he has eaten, press on it. Okay, so and then now he's uh, activating his horse. Okay, chasing, blocking. So he has a push his red pawn across. Pawn is away. Okay, so right now let's see how this one will continue on to the back. Okay, so now he has retreated his cannon. We will see what Red wants to do. But if you retreat the cannon, you are chasing that rook. Okay. And now he has blinded the uh.
Okay, so, um, okay, seems like Red is having. Yo, what is happening here? Was that a blind car? I don't think so. I think it's a death by black. But then if red would move, yeah, C8 plus 3 is one move, but then what, what about C3 plus 2? Did you just take him? Take him here? The rook, take the horse? No, wrong. So H9 minus 7. And then I think that's it for black. Yeah, so once a uh, red can move H9 minus 7, that's it. And then after that, now black uh, is dead because black has lost a cannon and lost a horse. How come he's playing so weakly right now? And just move c3.5 and that's it now he is making such weak moves now when he was playing against me he's playing like such a strong player okay i will just take my book and then chop the cannon okay like this also can once he takes my horse i will move r7.4 to chase after his rook then he will be forced to move R6 stop 8. And that's when I will move. Okay, so he has lost really. Let's look at the next challenger. Okay, so Rick has chosen to move the cross palace cannon. So maybe he will move uh he will move uh C eight or six okay. So this is also a valid opening. And then he has become a second cannon. Okay, let's check out his score. So now the grid has activated both of his cards, but then the uh, black card is still. Okay, so we strip here. Okay, that's a very, very nice move. Okay, so right now, uh, Red has uh, avoided trading the rooks. If not, it will become a very easy draw. Maybe he can move C2 plus 1. 
then you will face a uh, R2 plus 1. Maybe C2 minus 1. I think C2 minus 1 would be a better choice. So from here, I think it's an equal position. A uh, red doesn't have much hope of winning, so it will become a draw. So usually, when we trade away one cannon, one rook, and then we are left with four seats, and then both sides are not having any attack on each other, uh, usually the game will end up in a draw unless uh, one side is really weak. Yeah, so from here we can see that black is trading everything and then that's it for red. Red cannot win and will be considered as a loss. Okay, so from here we can see that um, both red and black they cannot generate a strong attack on each other so yeah so this so end up the draw for red and yeah, so from here we can see that um, none of our red horses can jump out Black is also also not jump out. And both of the rooks are there being security guards. So these two security guards will make sure that the game is uh, very very stable. Yeah, if you either side jump a horse, I will just jump a horse to block you and yeah. Then you, if your horse will go H2 plus uh, H3 plus 2 or R8 or 7 or 8, you come back, I come back. If <laughs> you will just end up the draw. Yeah, so let us uh, let's, uh, wait up for a while. And then black can just move her P7 plus 1. Yeah, P7 plus 1. Then after that, for him he can move her H8 plus 9 or whatever. C3, C3 or 2 he can move H8, H8 minus 9. So, yeah, it's a draw position. Red should just offer draw and then, yeah.
Yeah, there's no way you can attack this weak horse. Huh? And then if you move R4 plus uh, 2, I will just move E7 minus, E5 minus 7, then E3 minus 5, and it's a really stable position. Nobody can touch anyone. Maybe this pawn to be gone, but doesn't matter much. E three minus five. Okay, I will be back. So I've been disconnected for a short while, so sorry people. Okay, come, let's come back here. Yeah, he has ended up in a draw. So, oh, it's not really it. None of them are refusing. None of them are refusing to draw. That's nonsense. Okay, so right now we can see that uh, Reed was the one who tried to forcefully create an attack and now he has successfully uh, messed up both sides formation. So let us look at this part. How could have black prevented Reed from doing so? When he do this, I'll do this. He move this. P7 plus 1 probably was the... Yeah, but then if he were to move this, he will just take you. You have to take him and then he will take you. So. There's no choice about it. So P7 plus 1 was that move, and then he chased me. Probably moving to the side was a bad move. Could have moved for uh, H. And 7, but then it would have uh, disrupted the whole balanced formation. Because if he will come here, I will move up here. He can come and attack me, so that's not a good one. So he has no choice but then to move back here. He's chasing move up, come here, move down, correct. Cat, Chen is not threatening a C2.3. Then he defends here. Why doesn't he want to do this? If you have to do this, if you have to do this, I can do this. Then no, he will come and block me. So if that were to be, if that were to happen, Black will lose a pot, so that's why Black doesn't want that. So Black chose to move this. But now if I were to do this, isn't it the same? Yeah. You know what, after that, we move here. Now I think uh, Rick is having a good, 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 good uh, 
position against black because right now uh, black's uh, Khan is not having much efficiency. And then after that, black's uh, Red's Khan is attacking both the pawn and the worst still, your car is under attack from Red's cannon. Okay, so right now, let's try to free up his horse here. And then is trading. But if you trade, you end up with the draw. Black can move H9 plus 7, then your red horse have to give way. Okay, let's see who's watching the game as well. So now, somehow or other, Black is able to rebuild his way out of that bad situation. So at a point in time when he took this, probably a better move would be to move e3 plus 5. So if Black wants to trade, Red can just take and then it will just be a choice position. But if we were to look at the current situation, we can see that now, Black has uh, all of his forces activated from the original sleeping position now all of his seats are in the center area and going to launch an attack soon What is the purpose of this? C4 plus 4 This is an interesting move Okay, so Fred is sinking his uh, cannon to generate an attack. Also, C4 plus 4 is just to hit the side pawn. Okay. okay, let's uh, learn this thing. It's something that I also wouldn't do by pawn like my own. Yeah, okay, so he's a good move. Okay. Yeah, I think now what Red is trying to do is just to make him drop clock. So, well, we will see how this turns out. And then after that, now we can see that for Black, uh, he's going to move a C4.5, then launch an attack on Red. Once he moves a C4.5, there is a nice, um, let's say, maybe say, at this point in time, uh, maybe say Red does something. But then as when, right, if you were to move away, I will be able to check. Q here. So with this backdrop, maybe if let's say he were to move uh, some random moves like this, that is when as black we can sacrifice our horse to earn a horse for free. And then after that, if he would chase us here, we can do this. And then once he comes out here, we can eat him. So that's, that's one way to look at it. So right now, uh, red is uh, down to 1 minute 15. I think that red 
will be the one to drop clock. What? Red has lost a seat. Red has lost a seat. That's uh, very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, so that's very, very bad. You can just move uh, this one to defend after if you, if you, if you move in your chair. Let's see, let's see what, what was the most able to move. So if uh, red were to move uh, H2 plus 3 black can move uh, H7 minus 6. Very, very easy. So black is going to launch an attack. The horse. Oh, so he's going to come on this part. And he's going to chase his horse as well. Yeah, as expected, you block here. Just chase his uh, red horse away. And then after that, so he should check him here first. Check him here and then chase his horse away. And then you will earn a seat. So will red win by drop clock even though he has lost a seat. Retreat here? No, he's not gonna retreat there. Um, but then he will move a H two plus four. Check. Then you can block here. Then he will be. Then he won't earn a seat. But black is going to lose to time off. Check. Check. Not enough time for black and red has won the game. Okay, and that's it. Uh, red has won black by time out, even though red has lost a seat. So that's a very, very strong play from black. Let's check the WhatsApp group to see whether how come how come they are not reporting the score. Okay, so the last person is Benny Lee. So let's see whether Benny Lee come and play with uh, Gary. So right now we are waiting. Oh, Benny is here. Come, let's look at the Benny opening. R9 plus 1. <laughs> and then H2 plus 3, R9.4, and then R1.2, H8 plus 7. And that's a Benny opening followed by a H2 plus 3. <laughs> H2 plus 3, and then later on he will move for P5 plus 1. Yeah. Or R1 plus 1. It depends on his move. So probably not R1 plus 1 because later there can be a C at 7. Probably then he will want to move his P5 plus 1. Ah, now he's. Okay, now he has uh, expanded his opening repertoire with a P7 plus 1. Okay, H. No, P7 plus 1 and P5 plus 1 doesn't. There's no, there's no tempo in it. 
P3 plus 1 is also no tempo in it. Then you move H7 plus 5. Okay. Yeah, Black has uh, managed to lock down Rage, so uh, he can easily move uh, C3.2. R1.2, R1 plus 1, but then according to Benny, he, his playing style is that he would love to move on R1 plus 1. Oh, today is really different. He is really different today. Very, very nice. So right now, he move on R1.2. Benny wouldn't move a C2.1. But maybe he will do that because that's the correct thing to do right now. So from here we can see that right in the opening the P7 plus 1 is a valid opening but then after that when you follow up with the P5 plus 1 and the P3 plus 1 is not uh, so good for red. So yeah. Okay, let's quickly look at how red could have done. At, at this point in time, maybe red could have moved uh, H7 plus 6. This one would be a better move. If you were to block me here, I will defend mine. Defend my horse, and then if let's say you were to move this away, uh, I would say that uh, I don't think so. I will move this, then you'll be forced to move away. And say if you were to move here, so that is when uh, I will have to hit you here, to hit you here, and then I can chase here. So it's a very, very confusing uh, opening. So there's something to talk about next time. So right now, what has happened? Check, move up. Move up. Okay, so right now uh, red has lost a center pawn. Then we will see how black will continue on to pressurize red. Okay, so he's trading it. Uh, that's not a good one because if you if you were to move C to the five, I will gladly take you here. Take you here, gain an elephant, take you here, and then after that, take a free elephant. So let's uh, look at how this thing will turn out. So Ben has moved down his elephant because he knows that he will lose the elephant. And then after that, Black has moved our P3 plus 1. So from here, we just see how it will go on. So from here, Black has a small advantage because of the extra material. So right now, uh, Red is under a bad situation because even if you move uh, this to defend here, he will just push it here, then he will come here to force an attack on this part. Then if you were to eat him here, he will check you first, you will move up here and then he will do a strong attack here. So let's see how so Ben has chosen to move a C2 plus 1 to trade the rooks, uh, to trade the cannon. Okay, eat. Eat, eat, and then one pawn is across, and then with that, uh, black has an advantage.
So from here we can see that right for black one, he has a uh, two pawns advantage, and one of the pawns has successfully crossed the river. Uh, it doesn't do much because uh, as a black I can move R two dot three, and then after that uh, move my three plus one. Or maybe black should move a P3 plus 1, and then if you let's say you were to jump out here, okay. yeah. but now black has chosen R2.3, and then if Benny chooses to move H7 plus 5, so that is where uh, black will move a P3 plus 1. So it's just a different sequencing, but elimination of the possible branches. So who are the ones watching? Okay. Probably the best move for red is to move a P1 plus 1 and restrict black from attacking. Because right now, I'm quite sure that black has a 200 plus points advantage. That's it. That's it. R3.9, is it a good move? R3.9, and then after that, if you were to press me here, I will eat you, eat you, eat you, eat you, lock you there. So black has chosen to move issue plus two. You have to set the pawn. Chase here. He'll be forced to move H1 plus 3, eat here, and then he'll jump in. If you remove R5 minus 2, he will move R H4 plus 2 and then H2 plus 3 and then followed by R6, R9 dot 6. Uh, now red has to move R5 dot 4, maybe R5 dot 6. But then if you will do that, you will lose your horn and your horse will get attacked. So R9 plus 2. And then after that, that is when you will check him here. Not really, he will move uh, P. No, he will move R9.6 to control the line first. He will move R9.6 to control the line. But he didn't. But then now, as a red, I can move R6.4 to take back my own line. Nice play by Benny. Very good. No, I have blinded together with Benny. <laughs> oh no, how, how did I blind this? Fuck him, chase him. Chase him. Take him. Oh, that, that was a very fast move, no. If you take him here, probably a nicer move will be to do this to try to attack him. Okay, H3 plus 5, and then after that, there will be a H5 plus 7. But it really depends on what the player is thinking. So now he's uh, preventing him from moving an R4 minus 2 to block the H5, H3 plus 5. Okay, so this black pot is under attack.
And now he's attacking his horse. If a check and a check, then he'll be up here. Then he'll move his on here. Then if you check him, move here, he will down his horse to defend. So let's see how will black continue to crush Ray. So I think Red um, can resign because there's no way that Red can generate any more attacks on Black. Black has successfully defended against everything. And then they thought there can be a P7 plus 1, P7 plus 1 to kill Red's king. Check here and then check here. Okay, there's, there's a nice one, but then if I were to move uh, E5 minus 3, I don't think. That will be a good attack. So e5 minus 3, and then yeah. But red still can't do any attack on black, so it's a lost loss. P7 plus 1. And then with that, uh, red king should be dead already. Even if you were to move uh, H, uh, A5 plus. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. So we have uh, seen uh, these games, uh, so for today, I shall go for my rest. So thank you, your United, for supporting my live stream, and I will see everyone again. Bye-bye.